Hi, and welcome to the first support video for the Video Assassin 2 video marketing course. In this video, we're going to show you how you can unlock the power of CPA marketing, and these are the same CPA networks that the super affiliates use to make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars every single year. So I'm sure you're asking yourself, just who the heck is this guy, and why should I listen to him? Well, like you, I'm a professional internet marketer, and this has been my mainstay of income now for over five years, and I've been uh, involved with affiliate marketing, CPA marketing, video marketing, article marketing, pretty much every area of online marketing you can imagine. And as you can tell from my accent, I'm originally from the north of Scotland. Um, I'm from a tiny island up there called the Orkney Islands, and there wasn't much to do up there. It was only fishing and farming, and honestly, that was not the life for me. If you've ever seen the um, Discovery Show, The World's Deadliest Catch, that's what I used to do, and uh, that's a really short-term gig. Uh, so I decided, okay, time to uh, do something different. So I started up my own business uh, with only $50 in my pocket, or £50 in my pocket, and uh, I built my own consulting business. Started off in the IT sector and uh, built computers, consulted with computers, and I realized that businesses needed a little more uh, information. They needed to figure out where they're going, and I realized it was a big shortfall in the marketing sector. So I grew my business. I actually came over to America, and I started teaching corporations how to market online. This is really at the beginning. This is, you know, 1994, when the internet was really starting to take off. So I started teaching corporations how to market online, how to get themselves going, and uh, what we could do to help them. And the problem was, they just didn't get it, like we do. I mean, we're in the market, we're in here every day, we know where the marketing is, we know what to do, we know all the principles. They just didn't get it. They didn't care. They were stuck in old school marketing and they weren't willing to embrace um, the new technologies that were out there. So I said, okay, whatever. I turned my back on that market and I put the skills to use for myself. And I started, uh, you know, going into internet marketing to, you know, info marketing, affiliate marketing and everything else. And I've stayed under the radar now for over five years. But now it's time to kind of come out of the, uh, under the, the rock, so to speak, and, you know, all the areas I've been hiding. And now I put my skills to use for people like you and for people like me, where I can help show them exactly how to succeed like I have. And you get the benefit of 10 years of my online marketing experience. So in this video, we're going to talk about CPA networks and why you need them. Well, the first thing to understand is CPA advertising and access to these networks is incredibly lucrative for video marketers because it does not require viewers to reach into their own pockets. And it's much easier to convert video viewers using CPA because CPA can pay a lot of money for leads and signups, and they don't really have to pull out their wallets and pay for anything because a lot of these things are either free trials they're either, as I say, um, sign-ups for surveys and forums and, you know, getting a quote on something. You know, it's great because the customer or the video viewer usually doesn't have to pay anything and we still get paid for that lead or paid for that action that is taken. That's CPA stands for cost per action. So uh, we get commission even if we haven't sold anything per se. And it's really great for video marketing. Now, there are thousands of high paying CPA opportunities out there. And many of the top super affiliates out there use CPA for their business. I know I've used it myself for quite a few years now and it's suddenly become a very popular thing in the mainstream um, area of internet marketing. And, uh, you know, a lot of people had trouble accessing these networks and we're going to take away all the mystery that surrounds these CPA networks and I'm going to show you how you can bypass the often difficult uh, access to these networks because acceptance into these networks can be difficult unless you approach it in the right way and we're going to take cover that in uh, these videos. So the first question I'm sure you're asking yourself is well why is it difficult to get into the CPA networks? Well let's take it from the kind of top. There are about 10 to 15 main CPA networks. I mean main, there's actually about 150 and if you've got this course there's also a uh, sheet where I show you about 150 or so CPA networks out there. But there are about 10 to 15 mainstream ones that 
most people use and they are, you know, have the best reputation. And CPA ne ad networks want professional marketers only because you have to show them that you're a business professional. Now, CPA networks actually turn down a lot, a lot of applicants because they don't appear professional. They don't look like they're serious marketers. They look like they're just some Tom, you know, Tom Jones who came off the street, says, oh yeah, I'm an internet marketer and I want to sell your stuff. And they're like, okay, well, tell us a little bit about yourself. And, you know, oops, because they actually do a phone interview. They will actually try and speak to you to root out whether you're going to be a good marketer for their business or not. And marketers are often unprepared for these interviews. And as such, they fail these interviews and they don't know what the expectations are. So they fail these interviews and subsequently they're turned down and miss out on all this opportunity. So how can we guarantee your acceptance into the CPA networks? And you can bypass all the crap and all the barriers so you can put this opportunity to use for you. Well, there's several steps and let's cover them a little bit in detail. First, get a professional looking business website. Now, this is essential because it is your first foot, it's your first impression with any of these CPA networks. When they come to check you out, when they come to make sure that you are going to represent them in a nice and clean fashion, they want to make sure that you have a good presentation. And if you have a professional looking business website, that is perfect. Now, it doesn't have to be extensive. It only has to have um, an introduction about your business, contact information, but as long as it looks professional that's really what matters now you can we cover this a little bit you can set up a WordPress blog and convert it to look like a business website we cover that a little bit in the guide but it's really there there's really many options open to you for example you could also go to template monster and they have full sites already pre-built that are business packages there you know I think they cost like 50 bucks, maybe a little more. But you can then install that and customize it with a text a little bit to suit your own needs. And boom, you have a full professional business looking website really quickly. And it'll give you a great first step, first foot in the door with these CPA networks. Now, as I say, if, if you can't do this yourself and it sounds a little bit daunting, don't worry, because you can get help with this if you need. And as I say, you can get full packages from templatemonster.com. And like I said, they're only about 50 bucks. They're pretty cheap. And it's well worth the effort. If you need help, go get it. And uh, I believe Temple Monster also offers some um, uh, customization services, but I don't know the cost of them off the top of my head. But you can either do it that way, or you can install a blog, get a uh, nice template. There's plenty of free uh, WordPress templates out there. Add a few static pages. You don't have to be a blogger to use WordPress. You can use it as a content management system in its own right. It doesn't take long, and it is very much worth it. The other thing you need to do is make sure you have a real email account at your website. So if you've got, um, uh, let's just say, abcmarketing.com, make sure you have, uh, you know, your name at abcmarketing.com, not uh, sweetdaddy99 at gmail.com because what kind of impression does that give to a professional business? Um, you know, if you were giving out, if you were going to a bank to get a loan, how do you think they would look on you if, if you were hot mama 99, you know? It's, uh, you know, it, it's kind of one of those eyebrow raising moments. You have to think of these networks at that level. So get a professional email at your domain that you have registered and built your foundation website on. <clears throat> Another thing, Excuse me. Another thing that uh, you need to do is answer your phone professionally because this is a business. So if you, you know, we're using the example of ABC Marketing Company, you know, uh, answer your phone with, hello, this is uh, Sean Donahoe of ABC Marketing. How can I help you? You know, not, yo, dog, what's up? And uh, you, know, you can imagine the impression you give there. So even if you're working from your cell phone, try and, uh, you know, work a way that it will help you. Now, talking of cell phones, Get rid of the Britney Spears ringtone. I know you're very attached to it, but when people call in and they get Britney Spears or uh, Iron Maiden or Metallica or Puff Daddy or you know 50 Cent, they don't. You know that creates a bad impression. So get re rid of the strange ass um, ringtone if you're working from your cell phone. Now there is a way around this entire process that I'll, I, I will suggest, and that's get an 800 number to boost business perception. Now this is a really um, simple technique. You can get uh, an 800 number online from somewhere like gotvmail.com, 
And uh, if you're using HostGator, which I talk about in the Video Assassin course, they also have a partnership with someone, actually a former uh, partner in the company that has an 800 number service. It's only like five bucks a month. Uh, Got email is about ten bucks a month. But what these both of these systems do is, if you have an 800 number, it then re anyone who calls that number, it can then be redirected to your cell phone, to your home phone or whatever, and it identifies itself on your phone so that when you actually answer it, it'll say something like, um, you've got a call for mailbox 701, and then you can answer, uh, you know, good afternoon, this is uh, Sean Donahoe of ABC Marketing Company, how can I help you? You know in advance that you have to answer that call as a business rather than, um, you know, taking the risk that this is a personal call. So you can work from home, you can work from your cell phone, but getting an 800 number online service like this will allow you to redirect that 800 number, which gives you a great perception in terms of size, to your cell phone. Now, from the outside perception, you have all sorts of different um, mailboxes. It makes you look a lot larger than you actually are. And it really does help with the perception aspect. And this is what it's really about. It's business perception. Even if you're working out of your bedroom on your laptop and your, and your main line is your cell phone, you can still look like the bee's knees. So that's that. And um, the other thing to help you really guarantee your acceptance is be prepared for the interview, which is critical. And we talk about this later on in this video and we'll go into it a lot more. But I want to just to make sure that you understand that being prepared for that interview is critical. And be proactive because the CPA networks love this. So why is the interview make or break for your business? Well, let's have a look. CPA networks want to make sure you're a professional, as I've said. And they, you know, the CPA networks are very competitive with each other. So they want to make sure that they can protect their reputation and they can protect their network and their advertisers as well. Because CPA is often open to abuse from bad marketers. And I'm sure you've received tons of spam mail, which, you know, promoting everything from AC Berry to Viagra to, well, every other kind of weird thing on the planet. And uh, a lot of these are CPA offers that are being spammed out there, and those are the people they're trying to keep out of their network. So CPA advertising is open to abuse, and they want to make sure they protect everyone in their network. And that's why the, they do the interview uh, process, because the interview is their verification process of all the information you've submitted, and uh, they'll try and ask you a ton of questions that you have to really kind of expect and know the answers to, because failing this interview will prevent acceptance, and you will lose a lot of opportunity and potential money. So, one thing that is very important when it comes to the interview process is telling them or explaining to them that you have relative experience that uh, will put you aside from a lot of marketers out there who have stumbled. You want to tell them and let them know and make them feel confident that you have experience that counts. And experience counts no matter how small or inexperienced you may feel you are. And let me give you an example of this. As I say, CPA networks want to know that you have experience and you don't have to be a guru to be accepted. They like to hear that you have at least 18 months of experience in IM and, you know, internet marketing. And that it doesn't matter, you know, how you put it. If you've been around the block, you know all the stuff that you need to know, you can um, elaborate on the details uh, as, as you say. I'm not saying lie, but if you haven't had at least 18 months in experience, you know, make sure that you extol the amount of experience you have in a short period of time. And you can use industry words casually and confidently in context. This is a very cool thing to kind of uh, psychologically put them put in their mind that hey you you're confident for example if you talk about uh, CTR you know click through ratio and um other words like that you know um you you talk about return on investment ROI you know all those kind of buzzwords that really helps identify in their minds that you know what you're talking about and being confident is essential and if you need to rehearse if needed You've got to think like a business and act like a business. And there's one really cool thing that I do is I ask relevant follow-up questions. And I have them kind of prepared in my mind. And this is a really cool technique because what I like to do is I like to interview them. 
and is this a network you want to be with? Now this is kind of turning the tables and this has worked phenomenally well for me and it's actually worked very well in a lot of interviews that I've been under and I turn the tables. Basically when I'm looking to strike up a relationship and they're a higher level company that I would perceive myself at or a position, certainly when I was uh, beginning internet marketing, I wanted to give them the impression that I'm interviewing them because I want to find out, hey, am I willing to work with you? Are you going to be a benefit to me? Not am I going to be a benefit to them? I'm not crawling around on my knees begging to get acceptance. I'm like, well, what do you offer and how are you going to benefit me? It kind of sets you at a higher psychological level than them, and they have to qualify to be with you. It sounds kind of strange, but it works phenomenally well. If you ask relevant questions, and you ask them lots of questions like, well, what? how many advertisers are you projecting uh, signing on in the next few months? Uh, what's your average uh, turnaround for payments? You know, and start, you know, start asking them a lot of direct questions and putting them on the spot somewhat. That will really gain their confidence in you and they, they will kind of scramble to think, well, geez, this guy must be good. We better make sure that we, um, we can be there for him. So it's kind of those kind of uh, situations. Now, that's about experience, but let's move on. What they want to know is your traffic sources. And this is where it gets a little tricky. You don't want to give them your traffic sources per se. And you don't want to um, directly show them if you're going outside of um, the usual pay-per-click area where a lot of uh, CPA advertisers are, you don't want them coming in and taking over from you and stealing your traffic sources. Now, I'm not saying they will do this, but for some networks I have had them uh, undermine my traffic sources, and uh, that's why in the video assessing um, guide we talk about hiding and masking your referrers and stuff like that. Just because it, it's better to be safe than sorry. Not that you're trying to do anything sneaky, it's just you're trying to make sure that you cover your back. Now, one thing they will want to know, as I say, is how you're going to drive traffic to their ads. And I will show you, as I say, in the guide how to hide the exact source. But one thing you do need to let them know is that you buy traffic from PPC networks and that you don't have to specify the amount paid, but just say it's a significant investment based on whichever, um, you know, whichever ad I'm, or ad type or offer I'm promoting, as well as what the conversion ratios are. Now, this obviously is kind of an open-ended question, but just say, you know, you can, you can make up a figure that you feel comfortable with, um, if you are, um, promoting stuff with, uh, pay-per-click, then, um, you know, use realistic numbers. But don't, I, I would very much avoid any specific amount, um, if you can, and just say, as I say, significant. Because, again, you know, you don't, how long is a piece of string? If you've got a really high converting ad, then you're going to put more effort into that than one that's converting low. Now, let them know you achieve greater conversions with PPC than any other method. And you, you can let them know you use other methods, but again, don't be specific here. Say it depends on the promotion and the market, because that is key. I mean, you, you, again, like I say, how long is a piece of string? If you're working with dating products, PPC might work better than any other, and then lead generation. Um, video marketing here is what we're obviously focusing on, and we don't want to go into too much detail for them. Um, again, we don't want them uh, coming in and under-marketing, but remember, you never deal with unsolicited email, black hat, or incentives ever, because they will ask you that. They will ask you and try and trick you into figuring out whether you do any of these techniques. So be careful, listen to the questions exactly, and remember, no spam, no black hat, and you never offer incentives for signups. Now, another thing they're going to ask is, uh, what have you promoted before? Well, you can talk about the stuff that's relative to um, what you've done. They will want to know what industries you've been in and what programs you may have promoted. And they will, they may even use the term vertical markets. Okay. Now, vertical markets, just, just think of what areas of marketing uh, you've been in and, and that's good enough. Now, let them know anything that has converted into sales for you in the past. If you've, if you've been involved with internet marketing, 
um, then you can talk about you know some ClickBank products you've promoted, maybe some Commission Junction products you've promoted. Say that you you know you're you're kind of new to uh, the CPA side of things, but you want to exploit that. Um, if you have talked about if you have been involved with uh, CPA marketing before, then you know say well I've uh, I've been uh, working with the dating industry or you know whichever areas you've been involved with, and you realise that there's opportunities for. Uh, hooking in CPA offers into existing marketing campaigns. You, you get an idea of what I'm trying to say. You're trying to relate your existing experience to CPA marketing, and it's very important that you really connect with these people to kind of put that across and keep specifics in mind, as well as the industries and promotions, so that you can kind of connect them all together. Now, here's the other kind of strange thing that uh, works very well in interviews is that you need to sound confident, obviously, but you also need to sound matter-of-fact about the whole situation. Now, this kind of um, plays into the confidence is that this is no big deal, this is no big interview, you're used to doing this kind of thing, and it really helps cement um, confidence in you that you are a valuable asset or will be a valuable asset to their business. And again, rehearse if you need to. Um, this is very important because you need to sound confident so that they have confidence in you. And you can ask them questions about the industries they represent to see, you know, get leading information to see how they will connect with your business. And again, you put them on the spot. So here are some sample questions they could ask. For example, how many unique visitors do you get each month? And you'll, you can, you know, obviously it's hard to say, but it would be based on um, whichever promotion you're running. So you could uh, give an idea of uh, your most profitable campaigns, and you can elaborate however much you want to and circle around exact numbers if you want to. Um, you'll ask, they'll also uh, may ask, how do you get your traffic promotions? And obviously that's the PPC end. You know, you need to say that you do buy um, traffic from PPC networks. Again, don't go into specifics if you can avoid it. Uh, they'll ask how long you've been involved with affiliate marketing or internet marketing. Again, they're looking for 18 months or more. Um, they'll ask what promotion methods have worked best for you. Again, PPC is the king, and they'll ask you that even if you're not involved. PPC works best. So uh, you say that, and you'll be on the right track. They'll ask you what vertical markets or categories of offers have you promoted in the past. Think what's relative to CPA marketing and the most common CPA marketing offers you see, dating industry, uh, insurance quotes, and anything you can relate to those is a close enough match. And uh, what CPA offers and industries are you interested in? Well, again, if you've got existing campaigns, you could be honest here. Um, tell them that, yeah, I've, uh, I've been involved with the dating industry, so a lot of the dating CPA offers will really be of benefit to my existing customer base. And you can see how that ties in. Now, you know, obviously think about what you've done in the past, and if you're brand new to marketing, then, um, you know, just relate it and tie it into what you've already got going or what you're going to be in. And that way you can uh, really address what you've, you know, what you are going to be able to do. Now, let's continue on with uh, some other questions I may ask. They might ask, do you offer incentives with your promotions? Again, that's a catch question. The answer is no, I never offer incentives um, because that's just not done. Also ask, uh, they might ask how much you spend on advertising a day. Um, ideally, you need to be spending about $200 a day. Uh, it takes a while to get up to that level, uh, but that's kind of a minimum spend they're looking for. Um, do you work with networks and which ones? Again, don't go specific here. Just say I work with most of the mainstream ones. And uh, even if you're just starting to get involved with them and you've got calls in or applications in, you're still involved to some, you know, some level. And they'll ask how you heard about us and stuff like that. Just say you heard about them on the grapevine or um, found them on a website or someone who is not actually a customer of theirs referred you and, you know, all that kind of thing. So practice the answers to these questions. Sound confident. Match up your best answer based on your knowledge and what we talked about here. Sound confident, professional, and business-like. And remember to ask them questions about their network. So let's seal the deal and wrap up this first video and uh, go over some final steps. First of all, be proactive and call the network back within 48 hours after your application if you haven't heard from them or 48 hours after the interview. 
This proactiveness will really help show them that you're actively interested and can be the um, the tipping point if they're not sure whether to accept you or not because it shows you're keen, you want to be um, involved with them, and that really can help. Now, when you're doing the interview, note who you spoke to and ask for the interviewer directly. And ask who your affiliate manager will be because that, again, shows that you are interested and you're used to the market, you know what you're doing. Now make sure you ask um, for direct contact information rather than going through switchboards and have a professional attitude because that really does work wonder when you're communicating with these companies and your affiliate manager and everything else. Now one thing I do recommend just so you get used to the whole process is work with the smaller networks first for practice. That way you get used to the process. If you if you screw it up, um, if you get nervous and you know kind of get all tongue-tied during the interview process. Having a couple of practice ones with the smaller networks does help because it's, if you if you kind of screw it up, it's no big deal. By the time you get your confidence up with these processes and you get to the bigger networks, it makes it a lot more plain sailing. And as I say, we have a list uh, in the with this course where we have 150 networks, but I've also got a list. I think it's, I can't remember if it's 10 or 20 actually off the top of my head, but go with the top 10 networks. And um, I say you had networks below here. It's not actually below in this. It's actually in the uh, guide, but uh, you'll be able to see those networks and start applying today. So that's the end of video one. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope that really does explain a lot about getting into the CPA networks and how vitally important it can be for you. Like I say, some of these super affiliates are making hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars a year. I know myself, I make, well, 10, maybe $20,000 a month just with uh, the CPA advertising I do. And I, I'm in every area of marketing. I promote everything from CPA, uh, uh, CPA offers to uh, affiliate marketing to my own products and services. So I do, I've got my fingers in lots and lots of little pies and I want to try and help you get into the same area and get your, you up to the same levels that you can mirror my success and that's what this video assassin course is all about so that's the end of video one uh, go back to the rest of the guide and then uh, we've got several other videos that support the actual uh, textbook and uh, I will see you in the next video